you know, I freaking love the zombie story. I've been wanting to do an entire zombie storyline video for a very long time. And today for you, I have the zombie storyline in like a five, six minute version. But this is hopefully different to anything you would have seen before. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this. It took me a ton, I mean days and days to finish this video. So if you feel like dropping me a thumbs up anytime throughout this, that'd be very much appreciated. I've also gone ahead and hidden a few Easter eggs in here. So let me know which ones and how many you find in the comments section below. And if you get it right, because we've hit 250,000, a quarter of a million subscribers, I've got a few of these coming. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway of all three of these COD Zombies figures and also a pre-ordering giveaway of COD 2017 when it releases for that Zombies baby because we know we're going to be getting it. So if you want to be entered, just leave how many Easter eggs you find in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Here we go. We start off with Nakdor and Toad in the first map in the Zombies campaign. Then things start to go a little bit insane with Verrucked Asylum, where four Marines go to rescue Peter McCain, but he's gone on to Shino Numa jumping out of a plane, where he uncovers the truths of Division 9. We find a radio from Peter's handler, but being defiant, he carries on with his mission. And the giant, Darius, this is the start of the story. We have Richtofen, and Takio, Nikolai, Dempsey, Maxis, and his daughter. Giving you the shorter version, Richtofen becomes crazy, teleports Maxis and Samantha away. Samantha becomes in control of the zombies, whilst the father well, let's just say he's pushed out of the way. With Samantha now in control and the facility overrun, Richtoff now overloads the MDT with the crew and teleports over to Kino de Untoto. They learn about the experiments of 2-6 onto 5 in the Pentagon with JFK, Castro, Namara, and Richard Nixon. At the same time, an ascension after Yuri traps Gersh, our heroes arrive at the Cosmodrome to see what secrets they can unearth. When Gersh is freed, the crew teleport to Call of the Dead, a washed up ship in Siberia. Surrounded by the undead and with the original crew trapped, Michael Rooker, Danny Trio, Sarah Geller and Robert make it their mission to help the crew out. Finally, when Edward gets his hands on the golden rod, they then teleport to a temple where we hear a radio of Brock and Gary. That's then a palm zombie, the Shrieker, the monkeys, and Barry. Wait, wait, what? What? Um, wrong story, mate. Yeah, there, there's no Barry in this one. Ah. Um, anyway, the crew collect the focusing stone and then travel to the moon where soon Richtofen's big plan will come into motion. So he goes to the terminal where he fuses together the stone and the rod and now more than ever, Richtofen wants power switching, solved with Samantha becoming the controller of the zombies, the shower of rockets, hitting a little place called Nuketown from the moon and this gathers our platoon of Misty, Samuel, Malton and Russman, where they meet on a bus with a robot named Ted. They are contacted by Maxis and a voice in Stuhlinger's head. The crew are told to complete objectives from transit to die rise and then finally and buried where they get their big surprise but before this we have mob of the dead with our four inmates finn billy sal allen what you weren't even an inmate <laughs> you're gonna learn some respect w what are you even on about anyway building a makeshift aircraft on the top of the prison it's then up to us to make the decision do we kill al which will continue the loop or do we break the cycle letting al become free leaving finn billy and sal left to rot in hell now back to buried in africa where the crew managed to reach the rift upon finding an underground old western town the crew are once again contacted by maxis and richtofen now it's up to you which easter egg you do if we follow maxis will end of his lies the crew dies richtofen becomes a zombie then maxis goes to the skies of argotha to meet his daughter samantha whereas if you do the richtofen side, Maxis dies. Samantha has forgotten that Richtofen has control on Earth through Samuel's body. Now, in an alternate timeline in 1918, we have Maxis and Richtofen working together as a team. In the trenches of France with Group 935, excavating a meteor they found called 115. The group used this element to build new things, from weapons to equipment to what the f*** is that? Oh my god, how the bloody hell have they managed to build a robot? Jesus Christ, that thing must be 100,000 feet. Oh my god. But they soon learn that 115 isn't all that good. With a knock on the door, the voice in his head, a little girl tells Maxis his daughter isn't dead. But because Samantha isn't supposed to exist, Maxis looks insane, ripped off and kills him, and puts his brain inside of a drone. Meanwhile, at the site when the chamber is unearthed, the ancient's wrath is about to be heard. And so, again, the crew is formed of Richtofen, and Tank, Takio, and Nick. This time, all sent in to do the same thing to infiltrate the doctor at the 935 base. But being overrun and forced to work together, they need each other now more than ever. Using the staff under Samantha's instructions, quickly and promptly the portal is open, Maxis fires up, but this now involves Dr. Monty. Now for the next two years, the crew split up. Richtofen reads a secret book called the Conorium. He learns about the Apothecans, the Keepers, the Ancients, the battle they had ages ago, what used to be, and an ancient artifact called the Summoning Key. Now in those two years before the giant, Richtofen travels to Shadows of Evil, a city underground where the Ancients lie. We have Nero, Jessica, Flo, and Jack Vincent, the cop, trying to stop the Apothecans from getting what they want. In time, Richtofen comes in, takes the key, teleports 
over to the giant where he meets his old defiant evil Cell shoots himself in the head Phil Richthofen and now daddy collects a soul in the key the crew now flee in a giant over to the castle which to us is known as Der Eisen Drache where the soul of Tank is collected now on two sets of Onoshima where they collect the soul of Tak when his old self was beheaded the crew travel to Mob of the Dead to collect some blood vials on their travels they meet Sal, Bill, Finn and Al finally in Gorod Krovi the last location Nikolai is killed his soul is collected where they are sent to the house and something happens unexpected our characters are turned into children where Monty wants to create a perfect universe where nothing can hurt them and so finally in Revelations when our crew get to the house the Shadow Man who was trapped inside of the key breaks free releases the Apothecans and Monty's perfect world now it's up to us to save the boys and the little girl as they try to attack we push them back Sephira and Maxi sacrifice themselves to save the world but with the crew still alive when they're not supposed to be something to Monty doesn't add up see they collected the blood from Mob of the Dead allowing them to exist in this world instead of them fading away. Dr. Monty tells the crew that they can't stay here, but instead of killing them, we are sent to another universe back to the very beginning of premise. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the entire zombie storyline from World at War to the end of Black Ops 3. I didn't want to make just a normal, plain, boring zombie storyline video, but I wanted something different, and spending days to try and get things that rhyme, that fit into the zombie storyline, and then editing the video, it took absolutely ages, but in the end, I was really happy with it, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video as well. If you already know the storyline, then this is probably a really good recap, but actually, if you want to find out more and want me to go more into depth into each and every single map i currently have that series going on on my channel right now so if this isn't enough for you and you want even more in depth on the story definitely check out my singular storyline videos i will link them down in the description because in the end that version will end up being about four or five hours so there we go hopefully you enjoyed i really enjoyed making this video let me know how many easter eggs you think you found in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video peace out